All right, it's here, the Divine's Meta, and we're gonna be opening up a case of Faded Clash. So before we go ahead and open up this monstrosity, just wanna quickly give a shout out to our sponsor, which is 50 Cards. If you haven't heard of 50 Cards already from the thousand of times I have praised them and given this spiel, 50 Cards is an online website where you can pick up singles, bundles, play sets, mats, sleeves, whatever you can imagine that you'll need for Card by Vanguard. They have it there. They also have Shadowverse, Weiss, Pokemon, tons of other card games where you can pick up supplies and singles from them. But my favorite thing about 50 cards is the fact that you can pick up bundles. So you're able to pick up full play sets of whatever nation you're looking for so you can update your deck way easier. So go ahead and check them out if you're interested in picking up those nation bundles and be sure to use code Nexus to get 5% off at checkout. All right, and I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this bad boy open. Got my box cutter here. All right, and ooh, there she is. 20 boxes in this case as per your normal case. So we're gonna be cracking all 20 of these open and we should be getting tons and tons of triple R's, but this also comes with special rarities such as silver rares and the Divine's rare cards or the, the DSR if we're lucky enough to pull it. So we're gonna hopefully see if we can pull a DSR in this case as well. I'm actually literally looking forward to the secret rares and the silver rares to see what we end up pulling from these. So yeah, let's just go ahead and open these boxes. Starting off with the first box, the first to 20. So we'll go ahead and just get started. Got my little box cutter here. Nice incision, pull that apart. And we got our first box. Gonna make so much trash out of all this. So this is DZ Booster Set 1 Faded Clash. And we got other Divine Skill units featured on the box as well, as long with our character card there, Reziel. And on the side here, you can see this is what we're expecting to pull. So we got our standard triple R's, OR's, or over double R's, which is our over triggers. And then our fun stuff is our secret rares, our double frame rares, and a new rarity, silver rares, along with our frame rares. Silver rares are basically kind of like old school SPs, except the whole border and the text are all in this silver texture, which is nice. Then we have special cards, which is like our extra triple rares, commons and stuff. So it's just like the MyGo stuff, I'm pretty sure. And then we have our DSR, which is our like manga style work with our main character, Akina, I think his name is, and Reziel. Popping this open, yep, there's the, the first MyGo card. It's an over trigger too. So the MyGo over trigger, got a good view on that. Choose five normal units from your drop zone with the same race as your Vanguard and different card names and put them into your hand. Wow, that's like crazy. I wonder what else comes in this thing. There's multiple cards. Second card is another MyGo over trigger, but it has the exact same effect. And <laughs> Selgion or Selgion. So this card is what makes Keter Sanctuary kind of insane. Reading it to it, it says, when it boosts, if you have more rear guards than your opponent, if you played an order this, or if you played an order this turn, this gets 5K. At the end of the battle, retire this unit, look at the top two cards of your deck, choose a card from among them, put it in your hand, and the rest go to bottom. So it's adding fuel to your hand, gets 5K. All you need to do to meet the condition is either just have a full board basically, or play an order, which is easy. And this obviously fuels Ritual for Luard, so it's really good in the early game. So this card is like a for sure four of in most Keter Sanctuary decks, I feel. Nice to have it as a box topper. And Mithrak Habitat is our other box topper. Wow, so we get four cards in this thing. That's actually, that's actually really cool. I'm looking forward to this box now. So having Habitat as a reprint is also really nice, just for circulation purposes. All right, gonna go put those to the side. We got our Bushy Navi stuff. That's pretty much it. Just download Bushy Navi, a little ad for Bang Dream and Groovy as always. No Vanguard Zero, just Vanguard Day. Set that to the side and pull out our booster packs. Give these a nice shuffle because why not? All right, and let's go ahead and start digging into these things. I already see something shiny in the back. We'll see what we got. Common, common, common. There's a MyGo card. When this is placed on rear, count plus one, look at the top five cards of your deck. Choose up to one MyGo unit from among them and call it to rear and shuffle your deck. That's actually not bad. From row rear, at the end of the battle, this unit attacked, bind this unit and draw a card. Then we got, whoa, there's our first silver rare. Innocent Orange Aness. So this is the Chris Strain 
support card, the grade two. When this is placed on rear, if you have a grade three or greater Vanguard, Chris Strain, Cannon Blast one, Energy Blast three, look at the top five. Choose one unit from among them with a different card name from cards that are already on your board and call it to the rear guard circle. When this unit attacks a grade three or greater unit, if you have four or more units of different names, this gets 10K until the end of battle. So that's cool, we got, we got our first silver rare, which is nice. And then a rare and the uh, product order for Divine Skill Wellstra. Hang on, I need to get some sleeves just so that I can keep this thing safe. This thing is too good to keep unsleeved. All right, found some inner sleeves, so this will have to do for now. Keep it nice and protected. Put that over there and we'll just keep it moving. Let's see, oh, there's the dinosaur, but it actually has a card effect. This is the one from the trial deck. And common, common, my go PG, uh, new PGs with different artworks, but they have the same card effects from like the D set one PGs and another rare. So I'm gonna keep these off to the side as well because I'm gonna be needing those for Fargra for sure. And then, oh yeah, the uh, Dire for Duels, that's a, that's a new thing. Oh cool, we got Valna already. Look at that, it's in a double rare foiling, that's interesting. So Valnut and Edis Faro, which is like the red OT and the blue OT, they got reprinted in this set as well. So pretty sure it's supposed to be one per case. So we got our one. That's just good to have back in circulation because it's just a really, really good OT. Nice to have Valnut back and keep that off to the side. Cool, another PG, that's cool. Two PGs in the same pack and a rare. So I think the main thing, main decks I'm really looking forward to building in this set are Reziel and Fargra. What is this? This is a sideways card. Fly with the Knight. Normal order music. After a music is played, you may put in the back row center until end of turn. When this card is put on rear, if you have a Morphonica Vanguard, until the end of your opponent's next turn, you get all your Morphonica rear guards cannot be chosen by your opponent's card effects. Then choose up the one Morphonica unit from your drop and if you do not have a rear guard with the same name as that card, call it to rear. Interesting, okay. And then what else did we get? Oh yeah, this is the uh, Double Rare for Magnolia that's supposed to help you search for another copy, either the Mask or Magnolia Elder, and Eugene Support. That's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> it's just Eugene Support. Keeping it going. That thing looks sick, whoa. What is that, Arstrom? That's a really cool artwork there, like it. Drawing cards for energy, that's supposed to be your ride line for Triumph Dragon. And an energy marker. So this is a token kind of, but instead of using the energy counter that comes in the trial decks, you can use these and stack them on top of your energy generator. I'm still debating if I even wanna use these. I just kind of like the fact that it's full artwork like this. It just feels nice to have, but to continuously have to keep stacking cards is, you know, kind of meticulous, but we'll see. We'll see how I feel. My go triple R thing. Soul Blast to trigger unit of Cannon Blast one. Choose a Morphonica unit card from your drop zone. And if you do not have a rear guard with the same name as that card, call to rear. That's actually not bad. That's, yeah, it's an act ability, but can't go wrong with that. And then the grade three, four of Argra. So keep that in mind. What does this thing do? Count plus one, energy blast two, draw a card. It's whatever. Put that off to the side. Then next pack. Move these around. I'm gonna lose track of all those my go cards, I can tell. Oh, oh. Cool, grade two for Reziel, so that's for the ride line to be able to call stuff from drop. And our grade two for Vargra, so that, that's good to have back to back. Uh, what is this, Blitz, Aurelio, search your deck for up to one Prescia. Oh, so this is the ride line for the Brand Gate thing. Another Mygo card, double R for, is this for Chris Train? Persona Road this turn, choose one of your Vanguards and it gets all your regards, get 5K into the end turn. At the end of that battle, put this here on the bottom of your deck. So it's pretty generic. Uh, and then we got another NS. Let's go ahead and sleeve that, because that's a triple R. We want to make sure those triple R's stay in good condition. Put that off to the side. I'm actually going to put this over here, because I'm going to need that when I'm putting together the Resuel deck. Anything else in here that I should probably keep? Probably this one, right? Could probably sleeve the, uh, the Mygo triple R. All right, cool. Yeah, we're totally blowing through these unboxings, right? Cool PG. And a Gravidia card, that is actually interesting. I forgot Gravidia had support in this. Guard or rearguard circle, if your order zone or drop zone has a total of three or more meteorite cards, this gets 2K power, 5K shield. Energy Blast three, choose up to three meteorite cards, grade less than or equal to your Vanguard from your hand, put them in the order zone. If you put two more cards, draw a card. That is really good for accelerating your deck. So Gravidia players, yay, am I right? Lattice, uh, that's a really good card for Ezeol just cause it lets you 
draw cards and give boosters 10k, which is nice. A Dark States card, another energy token. You can have up to eight copies of Thoughts spun out on your deck, and it's just a crit for the Mygo deck. Chris Rain support card, and a double R. Is this for, no, this is for the uh, start deck card. All right, cool. I was saying earlier that I'm looking forward to Vargra and Reziel, just because those are the, kind of the two nations I can been playing through with all a D. So I, and I, they both had divine skills and they both seem like really fun decks. So I think especially Reziel, given the fact that it's gonna have um, Selgon, Selgion, the accessibility to that is gonna make that deck so crazy good. Cool, what is this? Mashiro Karata. When this unit is attacked by your opponent's rear guard, discard a grade three with Mashiro Kurata in its name. Choose one or the other Morphonica rear guards and change the unit being attacked to that unit. Cool, we got redirection in Vanguard. Act, if you did not play in order this turn, count plus one, search your deck, fret to one Morphonica music and play it. And if you search the deck, shuffle the deck. That is pretty cool. That's actually not bad at all. That's a, that's a good card. I'm gonna put that one in his sleeve for later. Whoa, look at you, frame rare of like a generic card effect. Not bad, a rare and a rare, cool. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, this set is actually kind of hype just because of the fact that you get a lot of really good support cards. Like these, these are for the trial deck. So you're meant to put these in the right deck. But again, I still think these just should have been in the trial deck. Like, I don't know why we had to have a bunch of vanillas and just have them reprinted later in a main booster set. It's kind of ridiculous. This is a music card. And what FFR tick tick tar tick tick tis car tis car that looks nice. This is the one where if it's on the guard circle or discard it from your hand when you're riding from the ride deck, you can kind of blast one or energy blast to draw a card. Then when this is placed on rear, if you persona road, you can kind of blast one or or energy blast three to soul charge one and give this unit boost in 5k. That's woo. That looks nice. Go ahead and sleeve that. Put that off to the side. What else did we get? Just some rares? Cool. The other thing is it would be really nice to be able to build the other decks that come in this set because I feel like all you really need are just the triggers from the trial deck. And yeah, that's literally it. Just the triggers and the energy journey. And there's Varga Dragress. So this is one of the new divine skill units. Its first skill is when this unit attacks a vanguard, you can kind of blast one. Retire all of you and your opponent's front row rear guards. This gets 10K and at the end of battle, this stands with drive minus two. Uh, it sucks that it has to force the restand as part of it, that first skill, meaning that if you drive check drag Veda, you completely miss out on the whole point of the getting a restand off the drag Veda skill. Uh, but what's nice is it does have the divine skill. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked a grade three or greater. If your opponent's damage zone is four or more cards and this attacked two or more times, you can count on plus one, stand this unit, and it gets drive plus two until the end of the turn. So that's nice because it gets the drive checks back. Uh, divine skill you can only use once per fight on all your cards. So this is like your Hail Mary. I'm gonna swing face and get off of four attacks each turn. And if four to, you know, six attacks technically, or is it five? Yeah, four to six attacks because you're counting divine skill. And then just beat face, you know? Just hope that you win. And then if you get, if you need to get one more swing that you got that divine skill. So Garvarga, I'm gonna put it off to the side. And yeah, so as I was saying earlier, I think that's cool. Cheris with the new card effect for Sylvan Horn Beast, starter for Dragon Empire. I would eventually want to start building these decks just because you just kind of need the triggers and some old stuff that might be reprinted or just all the stuff that are just in this set. So this is a really good set to get into if you're interested in playing competitive Vanguard because it's mostly all the new stuff that you wanna be playing anyways. Uh, we also got generic elemental triggers, so they have no nation, but they're vanilla. So there's crits and heals you can run if you're interested in those. We've got our 5K shield Mygo deck. Uh, this is a generic lyrical card and a good double R for Reziel. This lets you counter charge and uh, Adds 5k when it boosts the Vanguard, or boosts your Reziel Vanguard. All right, what else we got? Direful Doll support uh, and uh, Villano support. So those are also like decks that I probably would be interested in building just for fun. New Uber for Wellstra, an energy card, rare, PG for lyrical. The artwork is not bad on these cards. I'm actually glad that you got a bunch of PGs. We got a bunch of triggers. This is like the perfect set to really get into the game just because everything's really back in circulation. So it's easy to pick up all these really good generic staples. Starter or ride line for Reziel. What is this? Uh, this is supposed to be for the 
trial deck, and we got another order card, Energy Blast 2. Choose one of your rear guards and it gets at the end of the turn, or until the end of your turn, total number of attacks is four or more draw a card. Okay, that's like generic, because that's Stoic as like whole thing. More energy cards, wow, I'm gonna have to really filter through those energy cards later. Tax or boost, 5K, and that is the Triple R base version of our Tixar that we pulled earlier. So this is the Triple R and this is the FFR. The FFR looks way better, this is so cool. But I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve this too, just because it is a Triple R. Got plenty more to go through finding these. So I think after this first box, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, kind of run through all the stuff that I have so far. Starter, Draw Elemental, My Go Front, Rare, and oh cool, Triple R for Magnolia. What does this one do? When placed on rear, other than during the battle phase, Count Blast, Soul Blast, choose one of your vanguards with Sylvan Horn Beast. Every two grades of that unit, choose a grade three or less with different name from your drop and call it to rear. So two things if you're on uh, Elder. When this attacks, choose one of your vanguards with Sylvan Horn Beast. For every two grades of that card, this unit gets 5K. So obviously this is like a Magnolia Elder focused card. So interesting that that's the route that they want players to go with uh, Magnolia, but you know, it is it is what it is, right? And it definitely is a triple R, so I will go ahead, sleeve that. All right, BRB, I'm gonna start organizing my first box. I'm breezing through these, and I think, I mean, the main thing about this set that I'm kind of more focused on, obviously besides, like how I mentioned before, Fargo and Reziel, is how like all the cards from this set are gonna like be the prerequisites for all the cards that you want to get support for set two. Hoo <laughs> FFR Nobla, Nobia. I said Nobla, I can barely read it here. That looks nice. Wow, these FFRs, I feel like they look a lot better than the ones from before. Is it just me? These look really good. Nobia is a Reziel specific support card. It's when it's placed on rear. You count us one, you look at the top three, call it grade three or less, and you put the rest in your bottom of your deck. But if you call it during the battle phase, you put the card into your hand as opposed to call it to rear. Then it has the skill when it attacks at grade three or greater Vanguard or grade three or greater unit. If you have a Vanguard Reziel, you can sell boss one and give this 10K. So that is not, not bad. I like that, that look a lot. Even the texture is nice. That's a really, really good looking card there. I know we're on the ninth box, but I feel like I'm gonna try and make up for time just by trying to speed through most of this and just kind of focus on what are the high rarity pulls that I'm pulling. Dino Boy and Falkrisha. And you know, the more and more I start opening these packs and kind of going through cards, I'm like, these are fun budget decks, like the trial deck support cards. But I'm just like, man, I feel like these decks could have been just fine on their own if all these cards came in the trial deck, you know? That looks nice. But I just don't really know what Bushard was thinking with that. I feel like the trial decks could have been like really, really, really good, interesting. Whoa, what is that? This thing has a SIG on it. That's cool. Is this a guaranteed thing? Man, that looks nice. I wonder if this is like an alt art of a card that I've already pulled. It's got like the little flower thing. Very cool. Whoa, hey -o. is that an FFR? We got an FFR Wilstra. Nice, look at that, that looks pretty good. So, so you guys can see the foiling at the border for Wallstra, that looks really dope. And it's similar to the Silver Rare, but it's still got the gold foiling in the text. But this is still cool nonetheless, so pretty exciting pull for that one. So I'm completely dumb. So the first FFR we pulled was the Dark State Biscotti clone. What is your name? Tiskar. So this was the first FFR we pulled. The second was Anobia. So this one was really, really nice. I even went into great detail about the foiling and the framing of it. And then our third and final FFR was Wellstra. So we did get our three FFRs and we got a little cherry on top with this one. This is the Bane Dream Kurata. So this is a nice little addition to what we got in our case. So it was these three, this bonus card. So that was it for our case unboxing overall. People are definitely gonna be looking for the FFR for Wellstra for the ride decks. The Nobia is definitely nice because the artwork is beautiful and this is most likely gonna be a staple coming up. So I do think this is also gonna be a pretty good card that people are looking after. So pretty satisfied with these. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this. Uh, I might just end up building the deck since I have all the Bang Dream stuff now. So yeah, but that's it for the case unboxing. Thank you guys for watching. 
I really appreciate you guys sticking it out through the end with me here. Be sure to check out 50 Cards if you haven't already for all their playset bundles, singles, sleeves, all the Vanguard accessories. They have them all stocked up with some really fun stuff imported from Japan. So be sure to check out 50 Cards to pick up those upcoming pre-release deck boxes and sleeves. And be sure to get another 5% off when you use code Nexus at checkout. And I'll see you all in the next one. Good night.